Hi everyone, I'm back. For those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who are still and already subscribed, welcome back. I'm making this video to tell you guys what's going on, why I deleted all my videos, and what will be coming for the future. As many of you know, I have been battling with osteosarcoma for four years now. After losing my leg and having it amputated, followed by 32 rounds of intense chemotherapy, it turned into metastatic cancer nodes in both my left and my right lung. Having them removed with two lung surgeries a year apart, I thought the next plan was to keep going with monitoring and surveillance and to keep going with what my oncologist and surgeon have been doing thus far. This month was one of the regular scans that show how my cancer is doing and what our plan is going to be for the next couple of months until the next scan. These scans show how my cancer is doing and how the remaining nodes from both surgeries that my surgeon couldn't reach that was not obtainable with the naked eye that are still in there, how they're doing, if they're growing, what's going on. Both my oncologist and my chest surgeon have confirmed that there are three nodes constantly growing in both lobes, one on my left side, growing at 0.6 millimeters per three months, and the other two growing at about one millimeter per six months. Yeah. My surgeon, Dr. J, we'll call him, would normally have a consultation about if we should do a surgery and get these cells out somehow, one way or another. But unfortunately this time he doesn't, he doesn't feel comfortable enough to take these ones out because at the rate that they're growing, we don't know if there's gonna, they're gonna come back right away. And also, they are also in the main part of my lungs. So that would be a central part of the tissue and that wouldn't leave me with very much to breathe left. For a second opinion, my oncologist has asked an advanced radiologist at the cancer hospital about my situation. But like Dr. J, he also doesn't want to chant something that won't possibly work. Osteosarcoma is not normally practiced by treating it with radiation. It's normally chemotherapy. I don't think many oncologists would recommend radiation for most types of osteosarcoma treatment. So my oncologist asking the radiation or the radiologist was kind of one of our last chances. Right now though, my oncologist has told me to keep what I'm doing, keep being me, don't put anything on pause, um, keep going to school, keep going to the gym, keeping up with my friends and my close family and intermediate family and the people I truly love. There was a phone call a couple of days ago and my oncologist had told me we're going to wait 10 weeks. We're going to see how the, we're going to wait 10 weeks. We're going to do a scan. And if things haven't changed, we're going to consult both Dr. J and the radiologist again to try again and see if something will work. But if there are changes and there is growth, we may have to consider a totally different path. I didn't make this video to completely bum you guys out. I didn't make this to fish for compliments or sympathy or empathy. I just wanted to keep the people who are following and a part of my journey informed on what's going on what's to come and it may be a weird way of dealing with this but to be honest I found this out two weeks ago and I still I still haven't really cried I haven't done really anything to process 
what's been told to me about what's going on and I felt maybe making a video would maybe put it out there, put it into reality for my brain. With that being said, going into the future, I want my videos to show who I am and what I'm about. I deleted all my other videos out of frustration and also boredom because I was sick of just seeing the same sexy video over and over again. I know I'm attractive and it might have taken me four years to realize that, but I don't want that to just be the main point of my videos. I don't want something that's just gonna give me a quick view from the wrong people. I want something that showcases my humor and also my artistic talents and skills because that's me and that's what I want to leave the earth with. So I, wow, this is hitting me, wow. I just want to leave something meaningful. I guess if stupid videos and weird crafts are meaningful to you, but I just don't want the same bland bullcrap kind of videos that isn't that doesn't showcase or bring to justice anything that I want to bring into this world and from now on that's what I'm gonna be doing there's gonna be no more look at my butt look at my knob there's it's gonna be about how I truly want to make videos now not just what you guys want so I might lose some subscribers, but I might gain some actual ones who like me for me. I don't really know how to end a video like this, except for just saying thank you. Thank you for still being subscribed to me despite not knowing what's going on or why my channel was deleted. Thank you for supporting me on this journey and just being a fan, I guess, I hate that word, but just kind of clicking, watching, participating in what I upload. The thing I will add though, please do not send me any cures or herbal remedies or anything like that that you think is gonna heal me or cure me of cancer. Please don't tell me what to eat, please don't tell me what to do or how to live to survive because my cancer is not from genetics, it's not from the environment, it's a mutation in the bone that has led to tissue. And unfortunately, that's what it is, but all I can do is what my oncologist tells me to do. And she said, be you, keep going, keep fighting, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Thank you.